The South African Clothing and Textile Workers Union, or SACU, is the largest trade union in the clothing, textile, leather, and footwear industry in South Africa and globally. 44% of the total of SACU membership is in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. These members make everything from jackets and pants to cricket gear and swimming pool cupboards. Satwo has been part of the garment union with history that dates back more than 90 years. The Worker Health Program with support from the South African National Department of Health focused on the prevention, care and treatment of HIV AIDS, TB and sexually transmitted diseases. This year, the Worker Health Program has teamed up with the founder of Just Cardi, Mohadi Matlako. Here, after several workshops, four young girls, along with their mothers, put together a product which was a result of their magnificent inspiration. The union was started in 1989, there's a membership of over 100,000 currently, and the Worker Health Program was started in 1998. And so Group has a health awareness, HIV awareness component of the union and has grown and extended with her doing TV programs, training for shop stewards, um, HIV management, HIV awareness. We have a head office up in Cape Town, which is our administrative head office. And in Durban, where we are today, we have our, our financial and admin HR head office and we also have a clinic, which is our flagship clinic where we offer fuel, a full component of HIV services. That is the HIV testing, screening, getting clients onto treatment, etc. This program is only for the union members currently. We're doing it in collaboration with the Department of Health. And our biggest program currently, since 2011, is the Voluntary Medical Male Circumcision, also known as the MMC program. In that program, we support the Department of Health in nine in all the provinces except one, the Eastern Cape, we've been working nationally. We are supported by our US government. In the program currently, we've achieved over 100,000 circumcisions in the past year. As a program, from inception since 2011, we have close to 300,000 circumcisions since the program started. We also have a very, very good footprint nationally in all our industries. We have mobile ICT services, mobile screening services, I studied fashion design and accessories design. So currently I have a license with the National Basketball Association in the United States where I distribute and manufacture bags at the stadium shops. I basically partnered up with SOC2 because I, it's the textile industry. Um, they focus a lot with HIV. So when the opportunity came to work with them with World AIDS Day, I thought let's work on doing some workshops with young girls. So I thought why not do something where these girls will create a product where they can talk about how their mothers inspire them. And then their mothers will help put the product together. And then on World AIDS Day, they get to share their stories. Because I think it's important for mothers and also children to know what their value is and how important they are. And I think it also helps with their self-esteem and confidence. Last week, the daughters basically cut out the patterns and designed the bags. This is the one you used to cut out the material. Today, the mothers are basically putting the bags together. What we wanted to do is spend a couple of days before that where the mothers get to know their daughters a bit more and spend more time with them and when the actual day arrives, we're going to talk a bit more about what has inspired them to design what they have and their mother's involvement within the union and AIDS awareness as well. The Worker Health Program, every year they come to our companies and talk about the HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. And this year they come and asked, told us it will be a, a competition. Most of the fa factories filling the forms. Well, I was one of the fortunate ones. They took, they took my name, 
I'll explain it to my daughter. When I came home the night, she was very excited because she was never in Durban. I think this is something nice that my union has said to. I'm very proud of them for doing this to the workers. They come at the work and then they tell us that we must guide our children. So they come and explain to us and then they send us the form. And then they started to, to fill the form. And then after filling the form, they told us that they will come at our work and then they will tell us how are the children we're doing. So I get the report that my child has been top 30 to the promotion, so that's where we get the tribute to them. And so I'm very, very much happy about this, just because our kids must know what is happening and what is happening about HIV. It's always an SP meeting from Bosabelo. OC for home-based care for testing for AIDS. We are at 16 to 18 years. We have a hana we tell PA topa, Naka Jinka formal, the sign of my Monaca. I get a cat a revolver, bo the poem, anything. The next, after two days, cat a carry, or chocolate for La Labune about Ufudu. How food do I carry? Monaca win the spectrum so we can I win the form, Debbie. With that said, the mothers work tirelessly to complete the inspirational pieces for World AIDS Day. <laughs> On the big day, family, friends and officials gathered in Durban for the event. Guests enjoyed a delicious spread of scrumptious finger foods before the showcase. I'm just going to welcome you all. I hope the day goes well and a special thank you really to my travel every single day for the early. Taking time off to work, time off from kids, the husband, and really thank you so much for the sacrifice. This year, Sector Working Health Program has chosen to focus on two things inspiring young women to approach their future with a sense of empowerment and honouring the mothers and artists and grandmothers for what they will model. We have to take steps to help our young women, to empower them emotionally, to help them empower themselves financially, to know their worth so that they are able to make choices for their own lives. Choices about safe sex, choices about their bodies and what they want for their futures. By empowering just one girl to meet her full potential, you effectively empower an entire community. So I want to say a big thank you to the moms and to the daughters. Uh, we really hope you've enjoyed your experience and, and gained something from it. And thank you for that. I wanted to do a project where one, I, the girls as well got to understand their work and their potential, um, give them a bit more exposure on options in life. And also I think it's important that they also let their mothers know what value they have in their lives as well. Honestly, I've always wanted to come here to Durham, but I never thought it would be so soon. Mommy Dear has also played a big role in all of this, because if it went for her, I wouldn't be here. She actually inspires me quite a lot because she's such a strong and bold woman. The advice she gives me is amazing. So this is a little something I designed. I came up with the idea and hope you really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you.
people, they told me that I was give my mother. Mommy, can you please have a word? Mommy, I have a big gift for you. Can you please have a word? Thank you. Getting this opportunity has made me realize the board to me and my mother has made me realize that everything that she says is the truth, and everything that she says is what is happening in this world. This is not only for my mom, but all the young ladies. I think the process was um, like a learning curve for them because they experienced something that they never did. And I think maybe one of them or two of them will then be designers one day because they got the opportunity to design something which they never thought of they will done in their whole life. Okay, to start we had real fun. I had fun myself meeting new people. It was a great experience for me. And um, I had a great time as well. They really are my type of friends and people that I like hanging out with because the conversations and things went off well and this is a great experience for me. And I want to thank the person that came up with this idea. It was a great experience. I got to meet Mugadi, the designer of the bags, and she managed to help us design our own bags. I got to meet different people from different backgrounds and it was very nice. It was an experience. It was different. I got to learn new things about everyone around here. So I'd like to thank the person who came up with this whole idea. It was great. I'm happy to be here. And I want to thank the person that made this for us. Yeah, today is a big day for us. So we are remembering our brothers and sisters that we lost them. So it's so very sad today, but we have to experience a lot of things. Thank you. Um, I mean, I'm really happy it happened. Um, I, you know, initially this was a program to help inspire the girls and self-esteem. And I think for me as well, I benefited because I learned a lot about myself. And I think the girls and the mothers are going to leave here happy and just in a much better position than they were in before they arrived. <laughs>